You know those nice and round corners cameras that everybody's been using and it's very modern and sleek with the drop shadow in the back? Well, today I'm going to show you how to make those in a free software, Inkscape and in Photoshop right after this. All right, welcome to the Rodeo Bro Gamer channel. Thanks so much for coming. So let's go start with the free software, which is Inkscape. It's a software you can download for free on your computer. And we're gonna make first the, uh, the mask of the camera over there. And then we're gonna jump in to Photoshop as well. So we can actually do on both softwares. If you have Photoshop or if you don't have Photoshop, go ahead and download Inkscape. I'm gonna go ahead and start showing right now. All right, so now we are here on the website of Inkscape. Um, what you're going to do, just press download and you're going to have this option right here. You're going to click Windows. And when you pl click on Windows right here, it's going to give option for 32 or 64. Click 64. And then you're going to click here the installer file. Uh, the file is going to start download to your computer. Uh, it's a completely free a software. It's very good to use for that kind of uh, mask for the camera. Just click right there once you finish. Uh, installation is pretty simple. It's going to just appear in a moment right here. There we go. So we're going to go ahead and install. Uh, just leave it the way it is as right now like this. It's fine. Um, you know, that also no problem at all. So just click and just choose what you want to install. I prefer in C drive. And just go over there just all these options right here you can leave it that's uh, absolute fine i think you should leave it you don't take everything out because it's very light software click uh, to install and the process the process starts sta installing to your computer um and uh, after install it's gonna be finishing just right now perfect so uh gonna click here finish uh and go directly to the uh to the program so let's go ahead and open open the program right this way right here and we're going to the document properties right down here and we're gonna choose pixel and you're gonna put uh 1920 by 1080 okay so then you just close that that out right here and you're gonna go to view and click grid so we can draw and then you're gonna click the square and you're going to draw the square for the mask for the camera once you do that, you're gonna go to that tool above the square. And a little circle will appear in the corner. You're gonna click and push down all the way to how you want the corner to be in your camera, in your mask. So once you do that, you're gonna click a Shift, Control, and E. It will appear right here, this page to export. You're gonna click Page. You're gonna actually export as, so you're gonna actually here, you're gonna name your file. Uh, you're gonna name your file uh, right here and you are actually going to uh, choose the place you want to save it so you click next and then you apply here in the bottle export otherwise you don't send it to save after that you're gonna appear here shift control F it will appear right here um, this uh, tool that it for you to uh, to to actually write doing this right here you actually make a little bit more like a gray color and and then the top right here is the blur is the blur effect so you're gonna make there's a little bit blur around 63 uh, 21 blur you're gonna do the same thing you're gonna choose to export you name your file then you click um, what you want to click save and go in the bottom click export and we'll export the file to where you need all right so in the photoshop if you do have a photoshop you're gonna go to go ahead and create a new project and you're gonna name um, in case here i name round the corner camera um and uh, what you're gonna do you're gonna uh start this project with 1920 by 1080 just click ok and open and once you open you're gonna go right here in the corner and it's uh, gonna choose round the rectangle and draw um, about that is fine and you're gonna choose fill the color uh, to fill a uh, color black and you're gonna get rid of uh, the stroke as well just put no stroke right there 
and you know just click it like this so you can leave it so it's gonna have right here on your layer so you're gonna this layer you're gonna duplicate the layer and you're gonna create a one layer called shadow because you're gonna have a two layers different right here we're gonna duplicate and then what we're gonna do we're going to actually um Explore the, the first ones, but you're gonna uncheck the eyes on shadow going right here in the corner of the file, export and quick export. Choose where you want to export that file, which is gonna be your mask for your camera, and done. Now you're gonna uncheck, you're gonna check shadow and uncheck the, the bottom one. And what you're gonna do, you're gonna, you're gonna um, not double click, you're gonna what you're gonna do, you're gonna Click to select, search right hand top for blur, uh, Gaussian blur. You're gonna click in Gaussian blur, convert, click right here, and you're gonna actually uh, select the ratios. I think, let me see, 24, I think around 13, 18, around here is pretty good. Just click OK. And you, what you're gonna do, you're gonna double click on the shadow right here in the layer. And you're going to actually, the op opacity, you're gonna put around 70, 60, around 70, a little bit darker. I see, I'll take a little bit more. Like around here is good. You're gonna click OK. And you're gonna export just the shadow. So what you're gonna do, see it's already on, on check over there, just file, uh, export quick export right here and then you're gonna go and choose the where you want to save it just name me I'm, I'm i'm saving shadow around the uh, around corner camera and uh saving right there and that's it all right so right now we are in the obs studio and we're gonna actually transfer the files uh, that we created on inkscape and photoshop so we're gonna go uh, add a source color source and the color source, you just uh, click OK. It will uh, give you a kind of white color. Just click OK as well. And we're gonna use that as a background so we can put the camera, okay? So what we're going to do, we're gonna add a video capture source. Uh, we're, gonna, uh, we're gonna add your camera or you know, the camera, they're gonna use it. Just click OK, add it um, here as well. We're gonna click OK. And now we're going to add a, uh, a camera. Since I'm using my camera, I will be able to use that. I'm going to go and choose OBS virtual camera, but you're going to choose your camera. Click OK. And now we're going to resize this for a little bit smaller so we can kind of, uh, so you, you know, so we can kind of put it as a web camera for the stream. So after that, we're going to actually uh, go to the properties of a video uh, capture store device filters. We're gonna add a filter. We're gonna add the image mask blend. You're gonna click OK. And over here, you're gonna have to choose alpha mask, alpha channel. Very important to notice this. We're gonna browse now where we actually uh, save the file. Uh, is right here around the corners camera. And you see there's already cut out the camera and the corners. So that's great. So now we're gonna have to uh, add this shadow to give it that uh, shadow effect. So we're gonna go add source image. We're gonna name this uh, shadow, that's fine. And then we're gonna click okay. And then we're gonna go and browse where is the shadow uh, file that we save right here. In my case, in the desktop, just click okay. And you're gonna see that we are, we got the shadow and we're just gonna resize to, um, to fit on the camera. So make sure you put the shadow below the video capture. So you go below the camera like that. And then you're gonna just resize and then you're gonna put under and then you just have to go play around. I like to put one in my left uh, like this, but you can do how you want it. But this is how you actually put the shadow under your camera. If you wanted to actually move around the camera and the shadow all together, you just have to go here at a group 
and when you add the group you can call the group cam in case this one here cam and you're just gonna drag there your video uh, source and your image source your shadow source and just make sure the shadow source is below the video camera and that's it and then you can go ahead and move this anywhere you want uh, to your stream and live scenes all right i hope this video helped you today and uh, if that tutorial worked for you and your stream just go ahead and comment below let me know if that went really nice to you and also if you're not subscribed go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more contents like that and uh, drop a like as well i really appreciate it. i'll see you guys on the next video